I remember reading the first few chapters of My Hero Academia back in 2014. Naruto was coming to a close and the torch was about to be passed down to the next great shonen series. It's funny how both Naruto and My Hero Academia have the inherited will of the next generation as a major theme. I think in reality, My Hero Academia has inherited a lot that the previous generation has developed and made it its own. In the same way Deku inherited his powers from All Might and is now making them his own too. I don't know whether this similarity is by accident or whether the author, Horikoshi, is inspired by his own situation and is making it a focal point of his series. Well, hopefully some of these awesome moments are going to inspire you to get into the series, or if you've already watched the show, it will remind you of why you like it so much. <laughs> Starting off at number 10, it's the entrance exam's final moment. At the start of the show, our main character Midori was pretty much a loser. In a world full of special abilities, he was a quirkless nobody, and to make matters worse, he wanted to be a superhero. It's like wanting to be a pro basketball player, but not having any arms. He's recognised for his courage by All Might, who luckily for him has the gift of being able to transfer his ability to another person. It's all about the hero's journey here. A lot of shonen shows start this way, but then they get that one moment to shine. And this was Midoriya's first, oh yeah, this is going to be amazing moment. At number 9, we have All Might vs Midoriya and Bakugo. Some lessons are learnt the hard way, the really hard way. Hit over the head hard, slammed in the ground hard, stepped on hard. The inspirational quote goes, nothing in life hits as hard as life. Well, I'm pretty sure All Might hits harder. I think this is one of those moments that made Bakugo one of the most popular characters in the show. His I'm not gonna back down attitude and no matter what the difference in strength is, I'll destroy whoever I'm facing mentality makes you love him even though he's a massive prick. A massively lovable prick. <laughs> Moving on to number 8, we have Bakugo's Rescue. This was a close one. A lot of us thought that we were going to lose Bakugo here as well. Luckily for us though, he's a badass that spits at the arm the Villains League extends to him. This arc starts off tense with the third Villains League attack, now bolstered by their new recruits. They kidnap Bakugo and try to recruit him. He gives them a hell no and then it all accumulates to an epic rescue orchestrated by Midoriya. The type that I would have perhaps wanted to see in another show 15 years ago. At number 7, it's Stain's Rage Moment. Although All For One is stronger, for most of us, Stain's the best villain of the show so far. I think we all just love people who don't back down when facing challenges larger than themselves and characters that have strong, consistent values. The hero killer's just like that. Sure, his goal was to murder a bunch of pro heroes too, but he's doing it out of his own twisted desire to purge society of all the fake heroes. And it's still admirable how when faced against so many heroes, he doesn't back down. He even saves Midoriya from a villain because he thinks he's someone who deserves to be a hero. When Endeavor, the second strongest hero, shows up, does Stain run away? No. He calls him a fake and starts walking towards him. That's the kind of attitude we all need to have, just without the killing part. <laughs> Hero! 
Tony. Next on the list at number six is when Todoroki uses his left. Two things make this moment amazing for me. The first is Todoroki's personal growth. My Hero Academia has a diverse and well-made supporting cast and Todoroki is one of my personal favorites. He's someone with the most natural talent out of all of the next generation students and yet he suppresses half of it because of his relationship with his father. This is the moment where he gets over his inherited past and looks towards his own self-made future. The second is the mentality of Midoriya. He encourages Todoroki to use his full power to get over his mental issues and grow as a person and this opposes his personal goal of the moment to win the match but it serves the greater goal of having a peaceful world by helping the allies grow as heroes. At number 5, it's All For One's introduction. I'm really glad that in anime, the villains are rarely overlooked. They play a crucial role in every series, and that's something I've covered in the top 10 antagonist groups in anime. A hero's only as strong as the villains he faces, with the exception of One Punch Man, of course. The brighter the light, the darker the shade. All For One is the darkness to All Might's light. As much as All Might is loved, All For One is feared. His presence, powers and dark philosophy all accumulate into one of the best and most chilling antagonist introductions I've seen in shonen anime. <laughs> Next on the list at number 4 is when Midoriya defeats Muscular. While there doesn't seem to be any official power ranking in My Hero Academia, Muscular was probably the most powerful opponent Midoriya faced up to this point in the show. Midoriya was once again pushed far beyond his limits when trying to protect someone. This characteristic of his was the reason why All Might picked him as his successor. We saw that he made the right choice when Deku managed to put everything in his attack to defeat Muscular against all odds. It also shows why Stain saved Midoriya and thought he's worthy of being a hero. Midoriya has consistently placed his own life in danger to save others from danger, and in these moments is where he's always managed to shine the most. <laughs> At number 3, we have All Might vs Nomu. The first attack of the League of Villains was the first time we saw some organization on the villains' part. The attack gave a lot of the students a chance to shine, Midori especially, but no one got as much of the spotlight in the attack as All Might. All Might is a godlike figure that no one's been able to push at that point in the series, except for his own health. Nomu, the artificial human made by One for All with the explicit purpose of defeating All Might, has the ability of shock absorption meant to counter All Might's strength. This epic fight gave us the first full extent of All Might's powers, both his physical strength and his mental fortitude to overcome his own boundaries and push himself past his illness and limits. <laughs> In second place, it's the second fight between Midoriya and Bakugo. 
Unlike others who grow up with their quirks, refining them and making them stronger as they grow, One For All's already a full-grown quirk that's given to someone who has no idea how to use it. It's like giving a machine gun to a toddler. But then the person who received the One For All grows much faster than anyone. So from Bakugo's perspective, it must be infuriating to see the weak boy he's known since childhood has now caught up or might even overtake him. It's a lesson about not comparing yourself to others. While both of these boys have grown up in strength substantially, Bakugo is not looking at his own growth but looking at Deku's. Instead of finding joy in his own growth, he finds pain in the growth of his classmate. I wonder if Endeavor had this moment with All Might. <laughs> And finally at number one, it's the United States of Smash. All For One is the villain above all other villains. While in the show we're seeing a peaceful world where villains have retreated, in a recent past it wasn't always like this. At the start of the Quirk era, crime used to rule society. At the top of this world ruled by villains stands All For One, the king of villains. The turning point of the world was probably when All Might defeated All For One. He was the third One For All user that we know of to attempt this and the first to succeed. What we see in the show is a reenactment of their last fight years ago. That was probably the last time we got to see All Might at his full strength and it was glorious. Well, thanks for watching and this time we are having a giveaway. So leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and you might be the lucky person chosen to inherit All Might's quirk. I'll see you next time on Vinitube.